You know, like, I'm not gonna call you an underdog because you got experience. Do I just ignore that? It means everything. So mm -hmm. you're gonna go hard. So I know you're gonna go just as hard as oh, I'm yeah, gonna go we hard. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go hard. It's your name, my name, my brand. So it's gonna be magic. I'm excited. You're gonna kill it. You with it? I'm with it. You Come ready? On. Of course, I'm you ready. ready? I, yeah, I think, I think I'm ready. It's a whole lot. Ready. I feel like you ready, more ready than I'm ready. So when I first saw Day Jones, first thing that came to my mind is her drip was crazy. It kind of reconfirmed the things I did know, but also shed light to some other things. She's not afraid. She knows how to work the stage. She knows how to work the audience. And she knows how to sell her music. Working with somebody fresh, you can really have your imprint on them. So I'm really excited. I think we can make something hot. I think Day is an artist that I feel like has a lot of potential. I feel like we could really do something. Hey. What's good? Hey. hey! You know I had to give you the uh, the good LA welcome. Ooh! Nice okay. little smoothie, rooftop cool. vibes. Hey, I'm with it. Had to do it right. But did you, did you drink some of this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just because okay. no, I had to make sure it wasn't no poor. Okay. Okay. So congratulations on the competition. Mm. That's a big deal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I heard it's like a crazy story about how that came about. Like you wasn't even about to enter at first. Like what happened? I was coming down to LA to push my hats. Oh. I got these crazy hats with hair. I knew about the competition, but the time for me to go to like the red carpet experience mm -hmm. was at the same time as the competition. And I'm like, I can't do both. Like, what the hell? So I'm like, okay, how am I gonna do this? I put a tweet out. Who wanna make some money real quick? Uh, standing is required. Oh, okay, so you was dropping the bag on them. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, nobody knows why I came out here. They like, weren't you out here to push hats? <laughs> Like, no, God has had something else. God has something else lined up. That's, That's the vine happened. right there. Seriously. Judging from the story she told of paying somebody to stand in line for her, she's one responsible. She's definitely smart, because that was something nobody probably would have really thought to do like that. So you know why I'm here, right? Yeah. A little bit? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. So I'm acting as your A&R. Me and you have to make a hit. Okay. For Island Records. It's okay. a big deal. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but also a lot of responsibility. I was going over some of your older videos with Ruddy Rock, and you know, I, I kind of had my own perception, but I want to hear from you, like, how would you describe your brand? I think I'm like a hood pop star. So I make music for that bougie hood chick mm -hmm. who, she know how to fight. She with the, but you know. She definitely know how to fight first. That's definitely. First. She know how to fight, but she got something to lose, so she ain't gonna fight. If I had three characteristics that describe you, definitely bougie. Sometimes. This is what you, I'm just going off what you said. You tell me. Hood for sure. Definitely hood, okay. We got it's, that. Um, I'm a hustler. Hustler. And um, I'm a hard worker. Hard, hard worker. I own businesses. Women go out there, own your businesses, still follow your dreams. We're fortunate because she is a business owner. She does a lot of stuff on her own. She can speak right to that audience of strong women that like to go to work, but also have fun, you know, not stuck up. I ask you that for a reason, because when we make these songs, like, when you look at those characteristics, when we listen to your music and everything we see about you, it has to embody those. You know, that's kind of like your persona, your brand, so we gotta make sure we stay on track with that. And sometimes in this game, we could do other things, just trying to try things out, and it's outside of the brand we set for ourselves, so as mm -hmm. long as we stick to that and have fun, we're gonna make some good music. That's dope. That's dope before you put that together. What's the vision you have for your first single? This is a big deal, Island Records. You know, what direction do you wanna go in? What do you see for yourself? I'm new here, so I'm willing to take direction. You let me know where we're going, and it's, you know, you guys are, you got to have all the experience. How long have you been doing this? Like, how long have you been a and r -ing? Well, you know, like, Okay, so here it is. I'm not really an A&R yet. Okay. But I do have uh, years of experience in the music industry. I've been on radio since I was 17. I've done a lot of things, but this is the first time where I'm putting my name on the line to make a project. So this is like a first for both of us. This is crazy, you don't know. You don't know, this is crazy. Crazy. Hey. We're gonna have a lot of work to do. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but we really gotta, we gotta, we, both our names on the lines right here. Absolutely. We gotta show that we really serious about what we do, so it's not just like a fluke. Like, we could really make some magic. It's time to get down to work. Um, we got a big week ahead of us. We're gonna have to go to the studio. We're gonna work with a producer named Reefa. Uh, I believe he was on the panel when you won the competition this weekend, so that's good. He's already familiar with your sound. He loves you. Ruddy Rock loves you. But I think we want to do things just a little bit different. Like in some of the songs I've heard before, 
the production was so loud that it kind of masked how how much of a presence your voice had. So I want to work with Reefer to just kind of make make a track where at least when the verse comes in, that voice can really stand out and it can really punch. It's hard sometimes when you work with a female artist. Sometimes their voice aren't really that strong. So it's good that that already captivate the crowd. You know, me being a host, your voice sometimes is more powerful than what you're saying. You listen to artists like DMX, the way he delivers in his voice, very powerful. And I feel like as a female, it's very rare to find a person with a voice like yours. So I really want to lean on that. We're on the same page. Um, I, I do like to sing and rap. So kind of mm -hmm. like embodying both of those things. I do want to work a little bit with the, the R&B side of it. It can make the song very cheesy really quickly. So I feel like it's a strong balance when you want to sing on a record. Like it's a way you has to be mixed and I think we should play with that. I'm a Libra so everything's going to be balanced. As far as like my image goes, I don't want to come in as like the bad girl. I just watch so much and you see, you see so many female artists like labeled as bad girl. They're always into it with their fans, into it with people. I don't want to yeah. be that girl. I want, I want to be unproblematic. Just dope, just dope. You talking about you owning businesses and stuff, women need to hear that too. We're in a very entrepreneurship um, era right now with people doing stuff on Instagram and starting their own businesses. There's a lane right there. People need to hear about that. That's some real boss talk, not only just sex appeal. We owning stuff, like, you know, talk about equity and, you know, estates. Me, you, Rifa, we get in the studio, uh, probably like tomorrow, and we gotta kill it. At the end of all this, you have to perform this song in front of a live audience, you okay. know, live crowd. So but hopefully you're ready to jump in, put that pin game to work. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. You know, because they say women don't write. You know what I'm saying? Oh. They say we don't write. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to show y'all who write. All right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's going to be kind of quick, but I think we can do it. I got it. I got it. That's what it's about, you know? Look, Being I Being know... under pressure and doing your sh**. Man, I got it. Sometimes you can work with artists, they don't have a lot of real responsibility, so why would they respect your time? Because they don't really have time to respect of their own. But you have somebody that's a, a mother, a business owner, you know, so that's somebody you want to work with. Look, my city got eyes up. Like, they eyes up. Chicago is hard, too. Chicago is hard on you. You got to go hard. You got to go hard. And so, I'm go hard, you know? I'm taking home. Hey, flex time. on them. And if I could pick, I would work with somebody that's already good at making songs, kind of know the format, know where they want to go, and kind of just adding on from there. That's really the big thing. Sometimes you get a talented artist and they have all the talent in the world, but when it comes down to sitting with people, talking to people, networking the record, you know, showcasing the record, they can't do that. I can see her personality really selling anything we're trying to do. You with it? I'm with it, You come ready? On. I'm excited, I'm excited. This is crazy. She has the talent. You know, a lot of people have talent, but how do you match, master the sound, master your own sound? I feel like she's still trying to discover what that sound might be. 